been really stressful on top of like being pregnant and stuff. It's hard to like watch her be sick. They also have these like really fun Halloween wreaths. Really, really cute Halloween stuff this year from Kirkland's. So cute with ruffles, has the little buttons on the back. Just absolutely darling. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shopping and shop with me videos, home decor and DIY home decorating videos. So four times a week here on my channel, you can find me shopping at all my favorite stores like Target, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Kirkland's World Market, Ikea, Pottery Barn, and everything in between to show you what is new sales and clearance deals to help you save money and tons of seasonal decor I also love to do DIY room transformations. We are currently transforming our new house, every single space, room by room, and taking you along on the process. So if you've missed any of those and you wanna catch up, most recently we did our kitchen and it came out so amazing. You can definitely check out the links to that down below. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be still fall decor shopping and shopping in general, but it's gonna be a little bit more chatty and a little bit more baby stuff. Um, if you missed the announcement recently, I announced that I am pregnant and I don't plan on changing my content really but days like today where I just need a little bit of retail therapy and I want to go shop for my little girl if you missed it at the end of my pregnancy announcement I did announce that we couldn't wait to meet her and some of you caught it but some of you didn't um, so we actually are pregnant with a little girl due in the beginning of next year and I just need a little bit of retail therapy today. I'm having a little bit of a hard day and, or just a hard week, honestly. And I wanna go shopping for her. I haven't really bought anything, but I wanna get like some comfy pajamas and stuff. She's gonna be born in the beginning of the year and in Florida, that is the coldest that it gets. Obviously, not really cold compared to most places, but cold for us. So I wanted to get just some like cute, comfy outfits for her. Um, just, you know, a couple of things. We honestly haven't really bought anything, so. I feel like that's what the doctor ordered today. Um, if you're like not interested and just wanna see the shopping stuff, I'll put a timestamp down below that you can kind of like skip to that. But I wanted to give a little bit of a life update and if you guys aren't interested in that and you just wanna get to the shopping, like tons of fall and Halloween decor shopping, you can just skip to this timestamp. So like I mentioned, like five or six months ago, I did another retail therapy video, kind of like this, where I just went and shopped at the stores I wanted to shop at and just was chatting with you about my dog's health. So my dog Aurora, we have three dogs and Aurora is like my soul dog, which I talked a lot about in that video. She's just, she's my first baby and I just am so obsessed and like very connected with her. And her health has been declining for like the last like, now it's been like seven or eight months and it's been really hard to figure out what the cause was and if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you would have missed that two weeks ago she had to have emergency eye surgery. Um, like we literally went in for a checkup and got told that day that the next day she needed to have surgery and she potentially was gonna lose her eye, which she still could lose her eye and is now at risk of losing her other eye. And it's just very stressful. Um, also stressful this week is that our vet told us that she can't treat Aurora anymore. She just doesn't feel like she has the, not skill, like obviously she's very smart and skilled, but like she just doesn't feel like equipped with the time because I go to more like a corporate vet, like I'm I'm currently signed up with Banfield and yeah, feel free to trash them in the comments down below, but um, I feel like for healthy dogs, like Banfield is great, like when they just need like wellness checks and shots, like it's honestly great, but Aurora just needs like much more specialized and personalized vet care that they, willingly admit that they cannot provide for her. So we just got signed up with a new vet and we'll be going there hopefully sooner rather than later. They're trying to fit us in with a cancellation because Aurora has a couple of new symptoms this week that are very serious and pretty scary. Um, our eye doctor thinks that she might have like lupus or a different autoimmune disease, potentially cancer, which I can't even think about. So that is kind of what what's going on with me. Um, and it's just been really stressful on top of like being pregnant and stuff. It's hard to like watch her be sick. And anyone who has a pet or like has loved a pet or lost a pet, like it just, it's so awful to just like watch them not feel good. And I feel like frustrated at this point because it's definitely not a lack of trying. Like we've tried literally everything and we still give her so many medications a day. We're doing so many vitamins, supplements. We've gone like the herbal route to try to like solve a lot of these like little, it's like a small culmination of like all these really weird symptoms that are definitely amounting to it being something more serious. My vet just can't figure out what that is. So we're going to a new vet. I chatted with them today on the phone for like 30 minutes. They are super interested in like helping us and 
figuring out what it is so that we can treat it and I will keep you guys updated if you're interested in updates you can go follow me on Instagram I talk about it a little bit more on there but that is what we were up to today because that's all the mental capacity I have. I feel like I need a little bit of retail therapy. I want to shop for the baby that's inside my belly that I love so much. And I think that that will help make me feel better. So that is what we are up to today. We are going to be doing some fall decor shopping for some like odds and ends items um, that I still need for my fall decorate with me because I feel like the misconception with me doing like shopping videos is people think that I just buy so much stuff but I do not buy like 99.9% .9 of the things that I show on my channel and I don't typically like buy things when I'm filming unless it's an item that I know I like will not find again then I will but it's hard for me to separate like working and shopping so it's videos like this where like I actually do buy things and at the end there will be a haul I'm not gonna show the fall stuff because I'm gonna be doing a fall haul maybe at the end of this week um or no sorry at the end of next week I'm not exactly sure so you're gonna have to wait until that video but I also need to start buying Halloween stuff because we don't have any Halloween decor and we're decorating outside for Halloween this year so lots of fall and Halloween decor shopping also some like clothing shopping for the baby so if you guys are interested in that then just stay right where you are if you're excited please be sure to give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and if you're excited I'll stop blabbering on the first door we're gonna head into is Joann's because I feel like they've gotten more Halloween stuff and um, they have bigger and better sales than when I did my video there but I did do a whole video there so I'll link it down below but first store we're gonna head into is Joann's okay first I'm back at Joann's because I want to get some like fall picks and maybe like a vase or something and I know they have more Halloween decor so if I find anything new here I will show it to you guys but I did do a whole Joann's fall video already so if you want to watch that after this I'll leave it linked down below but yeah I wanted to come back see if they had stocked any more and grab some more or grab some of the items because now they're 60% off this is so pretty they didn't have this before it's like a blacky bronzed like acorn candle holder but it holds three candles i think that is so so pretty this is 34.99 and then would be 60 percent off i really like this for like the dining room table or like the kitchen table or something i think that's really pretty if you got like maybe three different length candles or something like too tall and a short it's so pretty i also still really love like these crystal ones that are 14.99 a piece so i'll probably end up getting either like these two or one of those i like this like all white acorn that they have they did not have this last time i was here where's the price this is $16.99 before the 60% off, but I just love how neutral it is. I loved this one last time I was here too. This one's $34.99 it's a little canister. Look at these Halloween signs. I didn't have these last time. This like house one that says home sweet haunted home. It's in the shape of a house at the top. This one that says happy Halloween with three different colored pumpkins. And then this one that says enter if you dare with like a snake running down it. I really, really like this one because we're doing Halloween on the outside but fall on the inside. I don't have any Halloween decor, so I'm having to like get all new stuff this year. And I haven't really decided like what kind of Halloween decor I wanna do, but I think I'm going like this kind of route, like cute but spooky, if you know what I mean. So I really, really like this. The Halloween stuff is 40% off right now, according to this sign. So this is $50 and then 40% off. But I do have a 50% off coupon in my app, so I could use that instead and get this for 25. Okay, this I also love. So this is expensive, this is 190 Again, I could use my 50% um, off coupon. Joann's app has like really good coupons. The thing about Florida is that you can't like carve a pumpkin and put it outside because it gets this like really moldy smushed effect because it's like still 90 degrees outside literally within two days. So you can't really like carve a pumpkin. So this has an opening in the bottom where you could put a light and it's like more of like a plasticky feeling, so it would definitely last for years. I'm definitely interested in this. I wanna see if maybe they have it in any other colors, but I really, really like this. I know that 119 is a lot, but I would definitely get like 40 to 50% off. Um, and the cost per use, like I know I could get several years out of it for several months at a time, to me makes it worth it because I live in Florida. I also like this, it's like a jack-o'-lantern bucket this is 70 and then 40 percent off so this would be around like 40 dollars this would be fun to hand out candy in so i like that too they have these ones that you can also light up so they have like this three stack but i already have a three stack that i got from home goods that's kind of similar to this not really 
They also have an orange version. And excuse me, I have the hiccups. Oh my gosh, this is cute. It's like a paper mache pumpkin. It's more of like a craft pumpkin. This is $12.99 and this would be 60% off. But I just like the more like natural look of it. And it's like a really different texture than any of the other pumpkins I have. They also have these like really fun Halloween wreaths. So they have this one that has like a spider in the middle and then spiders all over it. They have this one that has like witch's legs and a witch's broom. These are like $60 and then 40% off. They have all the fun Halloween wreaths finally out. And I'm not gonna do a haul of this stuff, but just so you know, this is what I have in my cart. Alrighty, so Joanne's was a success. I did buy a bunch of stuff, all like fall and Halloween stuff, so you'll just have to wait like a, a like just a tiny bit longer to see that. Next, we're gonna head into Old Navy. I'm kind of like in one plaza and I'm just like working my way through the different stores. Next, we're gonna head into Old Navy. I have a return for me, and then I'm wanting to pick up some items for I don't like know what to call her because we she has a name, but we're not announcing it yet. And we don't have like a nickname for her. I've been calling her like Baby J because Brian's last name is Joyce, so Baby Joyce. Joyce is not her name. I know that was like a confusion. But anyways, for Baby J, we're going to head into Old Navy, pick up some stuff. And then at the end, whatever I pick up, I'll show you guys. Because I know that you want to see the cute baby things too. Old Navy has tons of flowy dresses, which is what I've been living off of. Luckily, I already owned a lot of them. But the problem is that I didn't realize is that like as my bump grows, everything is getting shorter. And I feel like Old Navy dresses are always a little bit longer than all the other stores. So that's why I wanted to come here specifically. So maybe some stuff for me, definitely some stuff for her. I like this dress a lot. It's like a really nice tan color. It's showing up more of like a, I feel like a baby poop green color on here, but it's like a really pretty tan. And I like the ruffle. I like how long and flowy it is. It comes in like, really pretty mauve color and a floral and black if you don't like this color. I also love this one, totally my jam. I like this like quilted top. I feel like that's fun for fall. Like it almost gives like that quilted jacket look, but you could never wear a jacket like that here. It's way too hot. And I like this like rusty reddish orange color. I feel like as it gets more into the fall here and as my bump gets bigger, I would be open to wearing like the tighter dresses that really show off your bump but I'm not at that point yet. Plus I'd want to be able to wear them with like a denim jacket, but I really, really like these rib dresses. They're like a little bit thicker. They feel like really good quality. They also come in these fun fall colors, like this like burgundy rust color, and then this like cognac color. Okay, now I'm headed into the baby section, and this is where I always get like so overwhelmed because everything is cute, but at least a lot of it is on sale. I just love these little matching sets like the waffle knit like really soft pants with like a matching sweater i just feel like these are outfits that she will live in when she gets home so i might pick up a couple of these things are escalating quickly they have these really adorable like zip down onesies which i just feel like she'll live in because we're not going anywhere the first few months but like it's just not as soft as like some of the other ones. Okay, so I wanted to try this on and I really, really like it. This is a medium. I actually might size up to a large just because I feel like it's like there's not much room in the hips and it's already a little bit tight in the arms. So I feel like I'd rather like have it be bigger and like knowing that I can grow into it because this is something I'll be able to wear my whole pregnancy. It really stays like pretty warm here through like December, like where you could get away with something like this. So I think I might size up to a large, but I think this is a winner. Okay, just got down in Old Navy, picked up some cute stuff. Next, I wanna pop into Kirkland's, see if they have any Halloween stuff, cause they didn't have much when I was here last time. Might pick up some fall stuff. Then I think I want to potentially pop into Carter's and maybe Bath and Body Works. And then I'll do a haul of everything I bought at the end. They have a good sale going on. $10 doormats, 40% off porch pumpkins, 20% off regular price purchase. There's also some pillows here I want to get for a makeover that I'm working on. So definitely going to be buying a couple things in here. They definitely didn't have any of this Halloween stuff. And this is included in the 40% off porch pumpkins. These are really nice like wooden pumpkins. But it looks like they do light up. They're just like wooden signs. Then look at this. The Salem Forest Apothecary. So fun, I'm from Massachusetts. Salem, Massachusetts is like the witch capital of the world, so I love seeing stuff with Salem. Fun trick-or-treat pillows. I wonder if you could use this indoors and outdoors. Look at this, another sign. Really cool pumpkin stack that's like gray and super spooky. This like raven, I love it. 
Love seeing all of the Halloween stuff. All of the Halloween stuff is 40% off. They have this like three set of ghosts. That's $40 and then it'd be 20% off. I think I just said the wrong numbers. Down here they have these fun pumpkin stacks, some skulls, some really, really cute Halloween stuff this year from Kirkland's. They have this fun trick or treat porch sign for 59 and then this really tall one for 70 that says hey boo that's super cute i have these chenille pillows on our downstairs couch and i love them because they're really nice like feather pillows so you can fluff them back up and like pillow chop them and i just feel like they stay looking really nice and they're also soft and really comfortable so i'm doing the loft makeover right now surprise that's the next one and i was thinking about picking up a couple more of them for up there because i just love them that much they have some pillows in the clearance section that would be perfect for fall like this striped one that's like more of an orangey color and then this one which is like that golden color that's really trendy for fall this year these would be perfect little accent pillow switch outs and these are under $20 these carved wooden pumpkins are really cool they definitely didn't have these last time they come in two different sizes I like these a lot that one's really really big these are different there's so many different pumpkins out this year so many different textures every store has something unique the smaller one is 24 and the bigger one is 40 before the discounts that they have going on I definitely did some damage in Kirkland's I found some stuff in the clearance section I'll explain it later when I do the haul now we're gonna go into Carter's maybe into Bath and Body Works. I probably should not go into Bath and Body Works, but I wanna go into Carter's, which is like the most expensive baby store in the world, it feels like, but they have really nice stuff, so I wanna go check it out. And then I think I will head home and we will do the haul at home. Look at the little outfits. They're so adorable, and I love when they come with the headbands. I feel like that just makes it super easy, but I'm sure everyone probably loses them but I just love the yellow, it's so pretty. I love this one with like the brown pants and like the little vest in the shirt. It's like a flowy too. That's so adorable, maybe for like a going to the doctor's outfit. I love this. I like loved it since I saw it online, but like, I don't know, I just feel like it would just get dirty and I can't justify it, but I love it and it's so pretty. And I could like see her going home from the hospital in it, which makes me want to buy it, but I've been resisting. Imagine if she was gonna be here like before Christmas, like this candy cane striped overall set. I just think that is so adorable. They have so many overalls here and I just love them. They have all the pretty dresses that have like the frills in just so many pretty colors, maybe for like Easter or something. I just think all this girly stuff is so fun. Alrighty, I just got home. I know that everybody loves like home hauls instead of car hauls because you can see everything a lot better. So I'm doing my haul from home. I have some clothes and some decor items to show you that I picked up. And I did pick up other items like fall and Halloween items at Kirkland's and at Joann's. But I'm gonna save those for my fall and Halloween decor haul. That way you can just see it all in one place in the next few weeks. The fall one should be really soon, the Halloween one. Shortly after that, we're just working on getting all of the decorating done. But let me show you everything that I picked up today. We're gonna start with the baby stuff because I feel like it's just fun and people might wanna see it. This stuff just cheers me up so much. It makes me feel just so like warm and fuzzy inside. First thing I picked up was at Carter's. This was the only thing I picked up and it is just this Little two-piece set in this really pretty blue color. Carter's sizing is different than other stores. They do like newborn, which is like up to nine pounds and then like three months and then six months, nine months. Whereas I feel like other stores are like zero to three and blah, blah, blah. So it's been hard to navigate like what sizes to get, but I know that like even people who know everything about babies and everything, obviously I'm a first time mom. You're just gonna end up with lots of clothes. And I wanna be able to buy clothes too, so I bought this. I think it's super darling. And it'll be one of the outfits that she'll wear when she's first born. And if we, you know, find out that she's growing ahead of that and she's gonna be like maybe a little bit bigger, I was like seven pounds something born, then I can always exchange it for the next size up. But I did buy it in the newborn size. I bought a lot of items that are like pretty similar. So the next store is Old Navy. They have these like really soft, 
ribbed like two-way zipper jumpers that are really really nice so i picked up these i got the pink color and then i also got it in the gray color and i got these in zero to three months i just see her like living in items like this these are really nice too because they have the mittens that can go over the hands and a lot of people told me that these are way better than getting like mittens because mittens just don't stay on and they have the feet so i really like these she can just wear them lounging around the house well that's all she's gonna do for like months and months and months is laundry around the house but she can wear these for like bed and I just feel like they're just nice to have around the house so I got the gray and the pink and I'm definitely gonna look online to see what other colors they have because I feel like they always have more options online and pick up those too but these were super cheap these were only eight dollars and I think they were on sale I feel like Old Navy everything's like always on sale so great deal on these they're really stretchy super soft and I love the zippers every single person has said don't get things with buttons get things with zippers and thank me later so I'm taking your advice the next thing I got for her was this little two-piece set it's like the waffle knit it's so soft again it came in so many colors but they didn't have the sizes I was looking for because I got zero to three months and it's just this like little two-piece set <laughs> is this not so cute oh my gosh I just think it's so cute like her little tush is gonna be in there with the diaper and it's just really really soft waffle knit like I said it's like the coldest time of the year for us when she's gonna be born so I just want to get like comfy stuff like this that she can dress up, dress down, wear it in, wear it out. I don't know. I don't really think she's going to be going anywhere because she's going to be born in like the height of cold flu, RSV, whooping cough, COVID season. So we won't really be going too many places, but it's still fun to have cute outfits to like take pictures and stuff. And then the last thing I picked up for her also at Old Navy was this little two-piece set. I actually got this in six to 12 months so this is more of like a summer outfit it gets hot really fast here so when i am buying clothes for her i'm thinking about things that she can wear in bigger sizes too and right now is a great time for me to buy them because a lot of them are on clearance so i picked up this little outfit it's just like a green muslin top and then like a half diaper cover almost like pair of shorts so cute with ruffles has the little buttons on the back just absolutely darling. Then from Old Navy, for me, I did pick up that quilted dress. Online, it only comes in this rust color, but I saw it in the shirt version at Old Navy and it came in like chambray and in green. So I'm definitely going to be watching out for this to come in other colors. I sized up to a large. I feel like Old Navy sizing is so wonky. The dress that I returned was a small, and I had originally bought in a medium, but it was too big, so I sized down to the small, and then I didn't end up wearing for it, it for our announcement picture, so I returned it. And this is a large, like I felt the medium was like a little bit too small, so I just feel like you always need to try everything on with Old Navy. So sized up in this, should be able to get a lot of good wear out of it. The length is great for a growing bump, or if you're just someone like me who in general just loves flowy clothing, and it's really soft. And I just love this quilted like pattern up here because it's like a homage to fall with like the color and the quilting but in a very appropriate to florida style that i will get a ton of use out of and they did price match this online it was 30 percent off so they price matched it and gave me 30 percent off that's a huge tip that i have for stores i always check the online prices before i buy anything because typically they will price match so just see it never hurts to ask you could save a lot of money Alrighty, next up is Kirkland's. I did buy a couple of decor pieces. One is actually for fall and Halloween, but I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna be DIYing it anyways. And then another one is for upstairs in the loft. So it's actually like a big hint to the decor in the loft. I'm super psyched that I found this. So let me show you what I got. So the first thing I picked up was this lantern. It's like a charcoal-y like vintage black color, but I think I'm gonna spray paint it actually like all black. Um, for outside for Halloween. I mean this color will work too So maybe I'll just leave it but they had so many clearance lanterns now is a great time to be buying those outdoor items that you can use all year round I'm definitely gonna just stick like a faux candle in here And I think it's so fun to have a lantern for all year round, but especially for like Halloween time I just felt like it'd be fun and spooky. This one was only $14. It was originally like 40 or something No, it was originally 25 on sale for 14 or on clearance so definitely check kirkland's if you're looking for clearance lanterns you could also check like walmart tons of stores are clearancing out all of the summer items and these can be used all year round especially for fall and halloween time and then the last item that i picked up for this video because i'm saving everything else i got two of these tapestries so I actually had other tapestries picked out, but I they're just so expensive and I need like four of them. So like 
you know, 50 to $80 times four adds up really quickly. I found these ones at Kirkland's, which are like kind of similar to the ones that I wanted. And these are on clearance for only $20 a piece because they're from that like Made in India collection that they did this past summer. They are still in stock online. I need to order two more, but I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. I'm just super pumped that I found something like really similar for such an affordable price because I'm gonna end up getting like all four for the price of like one of the other ones. So it's kind of like a similar look for less but yeah this was the last item that i picked up and like i said i got two of them and i'm gonna be ordering i think two more online i need to go upstairs and measure it out see how many more i need but i'm super excited about these well all right you guys that is everything i picked up today thank you guys so much for shopping with me all of the retail therapy sometimes these videos are just exactly what the heart needs and i know they're fun for you guys to see too so we had a little bit of fall decor shopping it was definitely successful i can't wait to share all of those finds with you and a little bit of baby shopping and i know you guys all said that you really wanted to see that too so it's fun sometimes to include the little things that i'm picking up for her here and there and you got a sneak peek of what's going on up in the loft and i can't wait to share that with you probably in the next like two to three-ish weeks. Really excited to share another transformation with you. If you wanna get caught up on my other transformations, check out all of the links down below. I love you all so much. Thank you for shopping with me. If you haven't yet, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can never miss any of my shopping videos or transformation videos. I love you all so, 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 so much. I figured it was only appropriate to sign off with the woman of the hour. This is Aurora. She's been rocking the cone for like three weeks and has like six more weeks to go with the cone because she just had eye surgery like I said but she's doing good and we are gonna do whatever it takes to get her healthy sorry if it looks different my camera ran out of memory that's it saying stop talking but any good vibes or prayers that you have would be so appreciated so thank you guys so much for being here shopping with us supporting us and our little family I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time bye guys